Lily here from Call Center for Visual Art. Carmela, tell us a little bit about the series you've been working on this summer. Well, I've been uh, working on my women in water, women in swimming pools. That's usually what I do, paintings, you know, from my photographs of women in water. But the cool thing about this residency is I've been able to do some things that I wouldn't normally do in my home studio, both because of the space and um, just having this opportunity here to work with other artists as well. So I've worked with different water paintings with no figure. I've been more expressive with just kind of inspired by water paintings. I've also been able to work with pastel and oil and water media, even some collage. And these are things I couldn't do at my home studio, which is 14 by 11 feet. The other thing that's really been cool about my work is the opportunity to meet people here. Um, I've met from just people off the street to you know presidents of companies, art collectors, art lovers, people from other countries. It's just been really cool. Um, and that's been kind of like an endorsement. Oh, you're at the McCall Center for Visual Arts. So that's been awesome. And I'll continue to build on that and um, nurture those relationships with people. Tell me a little bit about the work that you've been doing at the McCall Center for Visual Arts. Okay, well, um, I have a two-year-old son. And so um, I, I take a lot of interest in what he's experiencing the world at this age. I've always been interested in the relationship between language and image, and uh, his developmental age, two years old, is just this explosion of experience between language and image. I've been trying to reinterpret um, his worldview uh, through these digital print series. Um, some of them are on paper, like this one, um, which I then reworked with traditional media, but the majority of them I uh, printed straight onto vinyl here at the Great. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience here at Nicole? Yeah, this has just been such a great experience. Um, uh, I, I mean, I know this is sort of cheesy saying this, but um, as a mom of a two-year-old whose husband's also an artist, and I, I teach full-time at UNC Charlotte, um, having the summers to be able to make artwork um, has just been really critical to me in my professional development. But now that I have a child, it's really hard to travel and do some of these international residencies and also gets really expensive. Um, so to be able to do an international quality residency here in Charlotte has just been such a boon for my art making practice and also my career. Um, I'm just really grateful that I've been able to spend this time with him. generally stresses migration and displacement. In this particular series, my, during my residency, I um, decided to continue on the same series. And this particular project that I'm working on now um, looks into or traces the violence that exists within religion, within especially the fundamental aspect of the religion. And it always, almost problem, most often it relates to gender issues. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing is mostly tracing the, the general aspect of that in all religion, but my references are drawn from within my religion, which is Hinduism. So I'm exploring how uh, women, especially these little girls sometimes, are abused in the name of the religion. Um, my time here in Macau has been um, really, really wonderful. Um, and I love the space, and I think this studio is really gorgeous, and everybody was very helpful, and especially the space allowed me to, you know, give me that privacy and that, you know, the time to think and create new work that I wanted to create. Well, I initially start with the abstract, I guess, um, investigation of the paint itself, allowing the paint to kind of change and mold and form um, by adding um, different types of materials, um, mediums, etc. Um, this pairing with this whole decisive idea of intuition and cognitive awareness um, is definitely in the process and I love to investigate those um, with the actual images of the people uh, appropriate images um, 
within the work itself, um, allowing the people to react and, and counter-react to themselves, almost kind of exploring um, this very innate, uh, instinctive uh, this action um, that they're trying to explore. Um, I, I would like to allow that to happen within the paint itself, and then later uh, actually use these appropriate images to uh, investigate more of a um, literal manner of this actual idea. I mean, one thing that I've enjoyed the most about being at the center was, you know, the interaction with the community themselves. I mean, you, you allow yourself to um, kind of open up and allow your work to open up to people who would not necessarily have the opportunity to view your work or ever see your work or see the work in process or have the ability to influence or suggest or uh, sometimes even agree uh, about what's kind of happening in the process of your work. Mm -hmm.